Hi, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I want to go ahead and start my series on great buildings. I'm going to go ahead and start with the early great buildings and work my way up through the eras. So this is a great place to start uh, in the series and I uh, hope you enjoy and I hope you uh, continue to watch the rest of the series. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and start talking about the Oracle of Delphi, uh, that being the first great building that you'll come across. A lot of people have differing opinions on some of these great buildings and what I'm going to be discussing here are my opinions and uh, if you have some differing opinions, thoughts, or questions, go ahead and leave them below. Um, or ideally, if you want, go ahead and make your own video that kind of speaks to what your opinions are. That would be cool, too. So, let's see, Oracle of Delphi. I have a new little village that I'm looking at here. This is a bronze era. I started this last night, about, about an hour so far, started in this village. Um, it's moving right along. The, the, the tech tree is advancing. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to get in, uh, where I can get into a guild. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So, that said, I just placed a stone, stone circle with 182 happiness because I needed some happiness. And I think I needed that for one of the quests, uh, storylines. And you notice I've got a little bit of production going on and so on. So, that said, I'm almost at the point where I will start to see in my storylines where I could start to get some blueprints. Those blueprints are going to be for the Oracle of Delphi. So, let me jump over here. I'm going to jump over to, this is the uh, fandom dot com the forge vampires dot fandom dot com and this is the wiki that will talk about the different great buildings this will be the resource that i show for uh, my my different videos on the great buildings so i'll start with the oracle uh, oracle i mentioned is the first great building that you'll be able to build uh, the blueprints for those will all come from the quest line uh, you can also get them from contributing to other people's oracles and getting them as as, as rewards uh, for you know paying positions but uh, you don't need to do that. You can get them all yourself through your own uh, storyline, so which is great. Uh, it's a really great. It's a great place, especially for uh, newer players or beginning in a city. It gets you kind of up and running to that whole dimension of the game. Uh, you've already gotten the the supplies and the goods and all that stuff covered by that point, and this opens up the great building uh, component in the building in the in the game. So. The Oracle of Delphi, same size as that stone circle I just showed over there as my example. It's a 3x3. Three three. Uh, it has no age, meaning that you don't need to spend any goods in order to uh, place it. So basically, you just need the nine blueprints, and then you're good to go. Uh, and you need a 3x3 three three space to put it in that's connected to a road. Well, actually, you can place it, and it, does, it needs to be connected to a road before you can contribute to it. But uh, you can place it on a 3x3 three three, as long as you have an open 3x3 three three, uh, space. It, uh, it produces two different things. One is happiness, which is just a constant happiness. That's just It's just there. And then also supplies. And the supplies will vary by the level. So will the happiness. So kind of jump on down here. Talk about the levels. When you place it, and I'll kind of give this uh, explanation for people that are... Uh, May, may not be familiar with the great buildings. When you place a great building, it will be uh, just a building, level zero. It doesn't pay any rewards. It's just the beginning of the building. When you get to level one is when you start to get your your rewards or bonuses for what that building has to offer. And in this case, it will cost 20 forge points contributed to unlock level one. At level one, when it's unlocked, you immediately get a 300 boost in happiness, which is just runs constantly and then you also start to get the uh, 550 bonus supplies per 24 hours as long as they get collected so immediately once you hit level one it will immediately give you the 300 boost in your in your happiness and it will give you an immediately collectible 550 supplies and then you collect it and then the clock starts 24 hours another 550 available to collect and so on Beautiful thing about the supplies and then any really any of the rewards in any of the great buildings is they cannot be plundered. Uh, unlike any of the production buildings, whether they be goods or supplies or coin or whatever, uh, those are plunderable buildings. So somebody can attack you and take those supplies and then you're out. Uh, these are great. These just sit there waiting for you to collect until you get around to collecting them. So that's that's one of the neat things about great buildings in general, and especially uh, some of these early buildings. So when you're in you're in bronze era, uh, 550 supplies that just you know just show up every day. That's great. Just like the forge points that are going to show up at your town center. That's great. It's just it's just it's part of the game. 
So uh, it's a nice, nice piece. So something else that's really nice about these uh, early level buildings here. So we talked about that. You know, as you continue to level these and so on, you can continue to grow it. You can contribute these yourself, or if you're in a guild, and I speak to this in one of my other videos, and I'll, I'm sure I'll be talking about that more later in other videos, is if you're in a guild and you participate in uh, FP swaps, the forge point swaps, this gives you a target uh, where people can contribute to so that you can actually participate because it doesn't make you know, sense to be in a forge point swap if you don't have a building that people could put their forge points on your building. So this gets you, gets you in the game and gets you familiar with that. Uh, different people have differing opinions of forge point swaps. Personally, I like them. I participate them in uh, in any of the guilds that I'm in. In you know, I've been playing this game for a long time. I think almost 10 years, and uh, it's just a part of the game that I enjoy. It's it's reciprocity. You, you you're gifting people forge points uh, with the opportunity to get things back. It's not it's not uh, you know it's it's not expe necessarily expected. Uh, but it's an always a nice bonus when it comes back because it's reciprocity. So, okay. So that said, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. This, so this is the Oracle of Delphi. It's kind of a cool building. It's got a cool history. It's kind of neat to read about some of these histories on some of these buildings. Um, it's kind of neat how they did that in this in this game where you got some some different you know wonders of the worlds and things like that and uh, different great buildings through time. Um, that it's an opportunity for everybody to kind of learn about as well. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Uh, like I said, this is the first in the series of great building uh, videos, uh, and I will be uh, working my way up through the eras. And at some point, I'll jump over into one of my other cities and show the buildings that I have over there. Uh, but I just wanted to show this here in my little Bronze Age village uh, just to kind of show where it all begins. So thanks for everything. Um, I appreciate it, and have a great day. Bye.